I'm a cybersecurity professional with years of experience and today I'm going to show you how you can find secret and hidden devices connected to the internet using an awesome new tool called Fofa. Whether you're a cybersecurity professional, ethical hacker or just a curious individual, this video will teach you some awesome tricks. As always, this channel is all about educational content and we do not encourage or endorse illegal hacking. Always use powerful tools like this responsibly. First things first, you need to understand what Fofa is. Fofa is basically Google for hackers or security researchers. It's a search engine, but unlike Google, which crawls the web for websites, Fofa navigates the internet's back alleys and basements, looking for the servers, webcams, printers, routers, and everything else that is connected to and makes up the internet. Let's see what we can do with this tool. To start, you'll need to create an account on Fofa. It's free to sign up, but there are also paid plans that offer more advanced features. Once you have signed up and logged in, you're ready to start exploring. Fofa's main feature is its search engine. You can use it to find specific types of devices connected to the internet using a variety of filters. For example, you can search for webcams, routers, and vulnerable servers if they are connected to the internet. Let's look at some examples. A good rule of thumb is to start with a broad search and then narrow it down using filters. For instance, you could start by searching for network camera and then narrow it down to cameras in a specific country and city. You might be surprised by how much you can find with just a few clicks. A lot of these cameras are unsecured pan tilt and zoom cameras, which means you can actually control them. You can find cameras from all sorts of places, even airports and prisons. If you own these unsecured cameras, make sure to password protect them properly. If we do the same search on Shodan, a similar search engine, we only discover one third of the cameras versus Fofa. That's a huge difference. Let's look at something else. What if you wanted to find a company's entire online footprint for a pen testing engagement or research? You could easily do that using the org filter like this. This would expose all the infrastructure for this company and provide valuable attack vectors for a penetration test. Another useful scenario is to identify exposed RDP servers, in other words, remote desktop login screens. Using this, we can see all the servers and computers that allow for remote incoming connections. We could search for port 3389, which is the RDP port with this filter. If you are a defender, you can use this information to secure these devices. Normally, no enterprise network should allow for RDP connections. If they do, the server should be properly monitored for suspicious and unauthorized activity. Let's search for something more interesting, Raspberry Pi. A lot of people expose their Raspberry Pis to the internet without thinking about it. You can often find really awesome projects. One thing Fofa has is rule sets. You can simply use these rule sets to find these Raspberry Pis like this. Now, you might be wondering, how can hackers use this tool to gather intel about you? Well, let's say a hacker knows your IP address. They can input that IP address into Fofa and see what information comes up. This could include the type of router you're using, any unsecured devices you have connected to your network, and even the software versions of your devices. This information can be a gold mine for a hacker. For example, if they know you're using a specific router with a known vulnerability, they can exploit that vulnerability to gain access to your network. Or if they see you have an unsecured webcam, they could potentially access it to spy on you. Now, let's move on to some of the more advanced features of Fofa. If you are a cybersecurity professional or ethical hacker, you might want to consider upgrading to a paid plan. These plans offer features like advanced search filters, API access, and the ability to fuzzy search, among other things. A lot of companies try to trick hackers and deploy fake servers, also known as honeypots, to track and evade attacks. Fofa gives you the possibility to filter out and exclude honeypots and these fake networks and devices by setting the is a honeypot flag to false so you only see real data about real assets and companies. This is pretty awesome. You can also filter on certificate information. For example, sometimes you might know the name of the company you are researching but not all the domains they own. In this case, you could use the search subject filter to find all the certificates issued to this organization. This often exposes previously unknown domains that could be valuable hidden attack paths. You can further filter on operating system and even server version to laser target your query to find vulnerable devices that need patching. Another interesting filter is the header filter. This can be used to search for information typically returned in headers. 
In this example, we can see all the Elasticsearch clusters and find a ton of interesting and often unsecured SIM tenants. Fofa is a powerful tool that can provide a wealth of information about connected devices. While it can be used for malicious purposes, it's an invaluable tool for cybersecurity professionals looking to secure their networks. As always, the key to staying safe online is to be informed and proactive about your security. If you found this video helpful and want to learn more about cybersecurity, be sure to hit the like button and don't forget to check out my other videos.